closely oh. related? Yes, or I call it private relay. Um, this is, you know, if we think about this, you know, we see a lot of advertisements out there these days for VPN services and for anonymization or how do I trust that my data is mine and how do I do those kind of things? Apple's decided that their version of this was called iCloud Private Relay. And in these circumstances, what Apple want, or what iCloud users will be able to do is for web application or web apps that live in Safari, right? Like, so actually not just apps on your phone, but like websites that you go to, you can anonymize your connection a little bit so that your connection goes into Apple and it comes out at kind of a different place within Apple. And at that point, you know, your data is not tied to your home IP address. It's not tied to your iCloud account. It's just kind of out there. It's just kind of, you know, it, 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 it cloaks your communications in a little bit more of, you know, secret agency goodness, I think is probably the best way to phrase it. So it's going to well, be and, only when you're using iCloud identities? No, this is any web browser activity that you're doing in Safari. And so it's Safari activity, okay. It's Safari activity. It'll also apply to like mail attachments. And so it Makes will, sense. you know, when you download mail attachments, they show up as not coming from your home IP address. They come as showing up from the iCloud private relay service. Oh, that's going to be fun. Bradley? And then for enterprise applications that are, mm -hmm. they need location, like or that just causes a problem, there is a way for you to block iCloud private relay on your network, where this will particularly apply schools, you know, businesses. So if you're in a situation to where when a user is on my campus, I have a different kind of, they get different things. Um, you can go in there and block that. There's a, uh, if you Google like iCloud private relay and you find Apple support document, there's some DNS things you can block. Apple does advise to not silently block them or not to de degrade the traffic automatically because that will cause issues. If they're blocked, your uh, devices that are set up with iCloud Private Relay will understand that's being blocked and they will alert you to turn off iCloud Private Relay. Uh, again, right. this feature is still in beta technically. Um, mm -hmm. I used it in the beta, like it was, it was okay. I mean, there was certainly some speed degradation, but um, I do like features like this. I am excited for what this can do in the future. I'm excited for it potentially uh, extending to the rest of iOS and macOS, but there are just some situations for businesses to be aware of. Uh, and, and Tom, you uh, informed me yesterday, there is a payload for supervised devices, managed devices, where you can block access to iCloud Private Relay as well. That's correct. There is a way for you to actually block this feature at the device level. Um, it is a, a restrictions payload. Um, we'll have an article up on uh, the Jump Cloud website about how this is going to work. Um, but there's a single, you know, um, preference key that you can actually just say, you know what, not for these devices. Um, and again, those will only work for, you know, corporate owned devices that are enrolled into an MDM. Um, but that you will have that option to essentially say no iCloud relay, please. And uh, having the ability to essentially set that and will give you the, or the the ability as an enterprise to say, hey, look, I just, you know what? I don't want that happening on my, my machines. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.